Hey everybody, what is up Nation fans, this is Ian Perez 40 here, welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez, this is episode number 3 for Dale, and this video we're going to be talking about, looking back, we're going to be reviewing uh, 2020 Days on the Speed Weeks, and like now that the season's officially underway for ARCA and NASCAR, it is time to talk about Speed Weeks, looking back at it, so... Where do we begin? So we're going to talk about the 2020 ARCA race at Daytona. What are my personal opinions? Well, the race was not bad. It was pretty solid. Pretty much better than last year's race. Like, there was more racing. Um, Like, I think uh, most of the race, like the first half. Sheesh, I, I don't remember, honestly. I know there's, like, side-by-sides. Side, I know some parts of single file. I know the big one had... <coughs> happen uh almost halfway to the race um shoot, i'm sure you can totally scratch me anyway um uh, i know the big one happened almost halfway into the race uh, natalie decker happens to be involved in it took out half the field um then Haley deegan took out a, a underdog driver um tanner gray he was having a good run could be he could have been either contention or like helping out Deegan for the win, but unfortunately, he had that a tire rub or something like happened to the car. I don't remember. It's been a while. Maybe I gotta look back at it. I'm doing terrible. I'm having a, I'm having a terrible start already. So, Michael Self led the final few laps after re <coughs> after final restarts, and Michael Self ended up winning the 2020 Daytona race, his second ever Daytona win. He won in 2018, and he won the 2020 race. He was taken out last year, lap three, airborne, uh, not upside, not almost upside down, but he was airborne. Um, but the highlight of that race was Haley Deegan, the first woman to finish higher, to to be the highest uh, woman a woman finisher in our history. She finished second. She was so close to win. I know a lot of fans are disappointed about that. But hey, historical moment. Hopefully, Haley, hopefully we can see Haley Deegan win an ARCA race this year. And I know some people were talking about how the race is like not so good, not the best because of the package they use at Daytona Talladega. Personally, my opinion is that the Gen Six body. If you guys don't know, I hate the Gen Six. I hate the Gen Six body. I'm not a big fan of it. They run like shit. There. But then again, it is pretty much the package for Daytona and Talladega. Or both at the same time, who knows. And then the clash. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I know the reaction. I know watching the reaction video was fun. I know doing the reaction videos with my friends was fun. But the race in general. Honestly, like, the first 66 laps. I know there was some single foul. That's because, like, the, the field is smaller. Even though we had a, we had a good package. Um, Honestly... That race was better than last year, but then, as soon, but then the first big crash happened involving Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, a bunch of others, Brad Keselowski, and then when we had the what the fuck of a restart crash, and then the big one once again when Hamlin blew a tire in turn three, and then Johnson got involved, hard hit by the way, turn three, and then Larson blocked Elliott. He sp they both spun. Actually, Elliott wrecked. Larson spun. Eric Jones spun. I think Clint Boyer spun. I don't remember. And then Eric Jones won that race. <sighs> That's going to be one hell of a race version of a die cast. Um, but what, what's my take on that race? It went from a eh, eh, typical clash race to a a wreck fest that is a turnoff honestly i know some people like i i know some people are think that oh these wrecks are so cool and cool and wow and whatnot but the wreck fest ugh, they were they were a big buzz kill it was a turn off what like what the hell how did we go from a calm race to how do i do this again race the, the wreck fest ruined the race, but I still think the race in general before the wreck was better than last year's. I stay my opinion. Unfortunately, Stunhouse won the pole for the 500. Fuck Stunhouse, I hate him. 
And here we are the first dual race. The dual races, they were amazing. The Honestly, they were one of the best race, best dual races I've seen since 2015. Joe Logano winning it. Thankfully, Dylan Stenhouse and Newman didn't win. I'll get to Ryan Newman in a minute, so don't get offended. And then, dual number two. Oh, dual race. Unfortunately, Swarth did not make it to the 500. Sucks for him. Hopefully, he can rebound uh, later on the season with it, with the 96 Scott Brothers team. Hopefully, they'll get like some top 20s or top 25s. And then, uh, for the second dual race, J.J. Yelly did not make it to the 500. Chad Fincham did not make it to the 500. I know Yelly wrecked. And then, honestly, second dual race, I think it was better than the first one. But, Hedrick won two, baby, won two. With William Byron finally winning a cup race, even though it's not a point race. Kind of. And Jimmy Johnson finishing second. Hell yeah. Hedrick gang, baby. And then the truck race. Of course, the truck race, they never disappoint. Best race of them all. And it was one hell of a race in general. Majeski flipped. Thankfully, he was okay. Um, then we had <coughs> Cody Rapa spinning. Big one with 37 to go. Um, Rafael Lassard spinning, the big one with like 3 to go. And then the race will be remembered for the photo finish, the side by side finish between Grant Edfinger and Jordan Anderson. Grant Edfinger won that race. Jordan Anderson finished second. It, uh, I know that is a, I know that's devastating, but hey, great finish for Jordan Anderson. Hopefully he can win pretty soon. One of the closest trucks finishes in history. I think the closest dates on a finish in history for trucks. I think, and then Saturday, um, Xfinity race. Not the best race, but it's not as bad as last year. I will say it is better than last year. Even though not a lot happened. I am disappointed that the, um, the fit, the race ended under yellow. I know, I know what some people say. Oh, but even the race was still going until the end. Harrison Burton would not catch no Gregson. I know that. Gregson would win regardless. However, I'd rather see it finish under green. Yeah, I, I, I'll take the Harrison Burton not catching Gregson at the finish under green than end the race under yellow. But yeah, Gregson won the race, finally. I know certain, someone was happy about that. You know who you are. Um, and then here we are, my all-time favorite motorsports race, the 2020 Daytona 500 arrived. I am not a Trump supporter and I despise politics. However, having Donald Trump in the Daytona 500 what, is not only an amazing and rememberable, iconic motorsports moment and NASCAR moment, but in an, um, but an American moment. Even if you guys hate Trump, I don't like Trump, you guys can't deny that him in the 500 was so cool. Like, hell yeah. Um, and then we did 21 laps on Sunday because Mother Nature hates racing. I know, I know people who want Trump dead, uh, dead will be like, well, if, if, if Trump never made it to the 500, the race won't be postponed the next day. That's the weather. It's Florida, and I live in Florida. God. But then we waited the next day on Monday, and <coughs> Ricky Stenhouse takes out William Byron. Go figure. It's Stenhouse. When will he stop wrecking others? And then we have Quinn Huff and BJ McLeod crashing. Um, the race was like calm, not bad. Honestly, I prefer last year's race. It was better, not gonna lie. But, but the 2020 race was still good. And then the big one happened. Oh, actually, Kyle Busch sadly blew his engine. I hope he wins next year's 500. And then the big one happened, 16 to go. <coughs> involving Jimmy Johnson. Brackets left. 
a lot of my favorite drivers, including my favorite team, Calig Racing. I know the Hendry guys weren't it. But let me guys tell you this. Jimmy Johnson only DNF because of the fucking stupid crash clock. The crash clock is retarded. It's stupid. I'm not just saying that because I'm a Johnson fan. I always hated that shit since it became a thing. Fuck the crash clock. Um, I'm bad at this. Um, then we had another big one, like Ross Chastain. No, actually, we had Timmy Hill reach Sorensen crash. Sorensen had a tower down, and then the big one happened like two to go. No, three to go. We didn't. We didn't go over time. Um, after that, uh, Ross uh, Ross Chastain when he made, he made a big run. The second he was the second until I think Priest got into him or Chastain got into Priest and then. And then Chastain got loose, and then the big one happened. Oh. <laughs> and then, uh, the second to last restart, we had the class shot again with Clint Boyer and Michael McDowell. And then the most serious and... Yeah, the serious uh, part of the 500. The final restart... Um, with Hamlin, Blaney, Newman, and Busher, they were contenders for the win. Newman led the last lap, and then Chase Elliott wrecked another bad 500 for Chase. And then New and then Blaney was pushing Newman. Hamlin, actually Hamlin was leading, and then Blaney pushed Newman. They both uh, passed Hamlin. And then it was a battle between Ryan and Ryan, Ryan Newman, Ryan Blaney. It, it was gonna be a 2019 Talladega all over again. And then Newman learned, tried to learn his lesson from Talladega. And then I believe Blaney got into Newman. Ryan Newman spun, hit the wall. He went upside down. Hamlin and Blaney went side by side. Hamlin won and then Ryan Newman flipped. And then uh, Corey LaJoy hit Ryan Newman. He had nowhere to go. Driver's side. And that's when um, everything went all serious. We were hoping and praying. Hopefully that Ryan Newman was okay. Thankfully, Ryan Newman is okay. Two days later, he walked out of the hospital with his own feet with his two daughters and his ex-wife. <sighs> I just want to... I just want to say... Even though I'm not a Ryan Newman fan, I don't like him. I want to say this. He's one tough son of a bitch. He, <clears throat> he's tougher than nails. And also, I just want to say thank you to the safety crews for helping him. Uh, the, uh, the doctors helping him. Thank God that Newman's living another day. I just... <laughs> Even though I crap on NASCAR sometimes, even though we crap on NASCAR sometimes for being stupid, but we got to appreciate and thank NASCAR for their safety. We've come a long way since 2001 when Dale Earnhardt passed away. Like, thank the Lord for safety. Like, we just got to give a big thanks to NASCAR for safety. We've come a long way after almost 20 years. So, so that is it for Daytona Speed Weeks of 2020. Hopefully I did like not as bad as I thought in this video. So, the worst race of the weekend, the Xfinity race. Hang on, I'll go from worst to first. Xfinity, Arca, Clash, um, Duel 1, Duel 2, Daytona 500, and Trucks. Shocking, Trucks win, and Trucks wins. The best race of speed weeks. They always kick ass. It sucks that they have the 10. Stu the stupid 10 playoff. Field. Oh my god. Not what is up with NASCAR? And their stupid playoffs. And their stupid stages. All that shit. God damn it. This is why I'm not going to watch a lot of NASCAR. I'm watching certain cup races. Speaking of which. I'm not doing like race review. <coughs> or something. I'm just doing like racing topics. I'll be watching every trucks and expanded races that I can. For the cup race, I'm not watching the 
The 550 races. Fuck that package. <sighs> I'm not watching no gimmick bullshit. I mean, I'm not even watching Vegas anyway on Sunday because I'm going to be going to a drag race, which I'll be filming. I'm going to be uh, uh, West Palm Beach International Raceway. I'll do a video of that, of course. Fun fact, Kurt Busch did Pro Stocks. He drove a Pro Stock and a Chure drag racing car. With Penzo back in 2011. And a year before that, the Arca race. Arca race at West Palm Beach. The racetrack. I thought they reset the drag strip. Part of the drag strip, but they didn't. There's a road course. But regardless, Arca racing at West Palm Beach, it was awesome. <coughs> so yeah, I'll get more into that in the uh, uh, West Palm Beach video. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, this video was not as bad as I hoped. I did my best. That should matter, people, okay? No one's perfect. I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm impress 25 and impress 48 underscore YT. Like my Facebook page. Oh, shit, I broke the fourth wall. Um, I have my Facebook page, Ian Asker 48 dash Ian Asher Films. Don't forget to turn on my channel notifications for more content. Thank you guys for supporting Ian Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. What do you guys think about 2020 Speed Weeks? What's your favorite race? What's your favorite? What's your least favorite race of Speed Weeks? Comment down below. Maybe another episode I'll talk about the Newman situation, I guess. And if something should change. Anyway, thank you guys for supporting your nation. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Boop. Boop. Hey, everybody. What is up, your nation fans? Fuck. Hey, everybody. What's up? This is Ian. Ah! Hey, everybody. What is going on? This is Ian Press 48 here. Welcome to another episode of... Fuck, what's it called?